Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While a report can show numbers that are critical to understanding the overall health of your company, some people like a visual representation of the data. That's where graphs come into play in QuickBooks. A Quick Insight graph shows your data as either a bar graph or a pie chart, except for the budget versus actual and net worth graphs. The bar graphs and pie charts are just different visual ways of presenting the same financial information that you view in a typical report. QuickBooks has six types of graphs that can provide up to 15 different views of your data. Let's look at the different graphs that you can create in QuickBooks Pro. First off, you can show the income and expense graph. This shows your company's income and expenses for the date range that you specify. You can also generate a sales graph. This shows your company's sales income for a period you specify. You can also generate the accounts receivable graph. This shows how much your customers owe your company. You can also create an accounts payable graph. This shows how much your company owes its vendors. You can also generate a net worth graph which shows your company's net worth. And finally, you can generate the budget versus actual graph, which shows the difference between budgeted and actual amounts earned or spent. The Quick Insight graphs that QuickBooks produces have several features in common. One commonality is that every graph window, except the net worth and the budget versus actual graphs, shows a bar graph in the top half of the graph window and a pie chart in the bottom half of the window. In the graph window, the bar graph will display totals of the data broken down by a specified period, and the pie chart will show a summary total of some type of information shown in the bar graph above. Also, every graph comes with a graph toolbar, which you can use to customize the graphs in much the same way as reports. Like the reports, you can also use Quick Zoom within a graph to see the actual numbers represented by the selected items within the graph. You will typically get summary reports that you can continue to Quick Zoom to trace backwards to the original transactions from which the totals you view within the graph are derived. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.